Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, how you guys doing? Hope you're good. Um, as you know, I've been talking about um, my mood and just sharing the testimony testimony of it all. Um, I did say I was going to share the testimony before December, so before we go into 2022. Because um, I have now moved house, October, beginning of October, and so I'm so grateful to God. Um, in this video, I'm just going to sh just share with you some of the things that I've done to, that assisted with the manifestation um of the house so one of the things i've done was i spoke by faith so i said obviously last christmas that will be the last christmas we spend here with deep conviction and i continue to declare the word of god as well concerning um moving and just concerning having everything that belongs to you in christ i always spoke the word of god i always declared um about progress and moving forward and moving into a new house so I spoke by faith. I started packing also. I packed my stuff literally as if I'm moving. So I started acting my faith, acting as if I'm moving. I've done that last year. Yeah, last year, 2020. Um, I created my movies. So basically um, a slideshow of pictures. I collected lots of pictures from Google um, about moving, just packing. Images of people moving, packing, packing. Families moving, packing. Boxes moving. <sighs> Words saying best move ever, excellent move. Things like that. And just put it all together probably about 100 pictures altogether and words um one that says um more home less um, is it more home less house or something like that um thankful my big smiley face you know thankful because everything starts with gratitude and giving thanks you know that's how you manifest things as well when you're grateful so i i done that I, it was an app that i used actually i think it's called filmigo so you can try that one out Create your own mind movie, get all pictures together, put music behind it and just watch it. And I used to watch it all night, leave it on till morning, literally. So I'm just, that's my focus, you know. Um, God said it to Joshua, I mean, was it Abraham? As far as your eyes can see, so it's, and even Joshua, see. So we have to have a vision, we have to see. And then what you see is what you get. It's so funny, what you say is what you get. What you also see is what you get. What you think is what you get. So seeing is strong, you know, that's how even God, like, manifest this world he he also he spoke but he saw he had a vision he saw it you know he had a picture you have to have a picture in mind what is your picture about your move my picture is about packing i see myself packing i see myself moving that's what i was doing and i had to put that in front of me come to our mind is going everywhere so we it's good to have a mind movie that you create specifically for that thing that you're trying to manifest that's what i done and that's what helped with the move as well um so i spoke it I, I started packing i had the mind movie and then i think more towards the end the last days of the manifestation um my vision more expanded you know god led me to a friend of mine her house and um when i went there I was like, oh my god this is the type of house <laughs> i'm talking about because i didn't even have a picture of the type of house i just wanted to move to a nice home family but i didn't and i knew in my heart like i wanted a nice house not a flat because we came from a flat so a house with a garden, a dining table. And then God led me to a friend of mine who haven't been to a house in a long time. So we're not, well, at all. <laughs> so the first time I went to her house, she had her son's birthday. And he, they invited my son. So we went there in July, just after my daughter's birthday, towards the end of the July, um, we went to their house. And when we went there, I was like, yeah, that's the kind of house. So God kind of helped me to expand my vision. So I was able to have a picture. And not only that, because we were there like all, all summer. So I was able to also feel like act as if that's my house if you know what i mean so we personalize it and that helps with manifestation as well because you're saying that it's already done you know when i was there i kind of knew it's done <laughs> this is what god has planned and prepared for me because god has really already done it we just have to be in sync and in line with his leading and guidance and stuff like that i had a lot of quiet time i took you know time off i went to my mum's house i stayed there for a long time summer holiday september I was there you know, and a lot of time to think and then god gave me a solution on what to do and how to how to practically go go about getting my house you know go about getting my house and um i think the last spiritually the last moments of manifest manifestation i was praising and it was a month of praise i remember like i think it was a month of praise was it october yeah, yeah. no august was a month of praise and month of visualization was um september october but i was yeah got the solution probably like august Towards the end of August, early September, I've got a solution of what to do. So that's like praise time. But in that time of praise, I was like, I was seeing, I was visualizing, I was seeing my house, I was seeing the garden, I was seeing us enjoying. I was seeing it and I was praising and I was listening to Eben, 
that victory song. And I was dancing, I was in my mum's, I remember I was in my mum's house with my children, we were there, like, and we were in the room. And I told my son, come on, let's just dance. Come on, see the garden, see your own room. See, see, come on, I can see it. And I was just, so much joy welling up in my spirit. And I was playing the song, even victory. I knew I had the victory. I just, you just can't explain it. You just, I just knew I had the victory. I had the solution now. I had to come away. I had to get away, go to my mum's house, or go change the environment, come out of that old flat and just be somewhere else, you know. And um, I've got a lot of revelation in my mum's house, even my mum's house as well. It's like, I live there. She's got laminated floors. We've got laminated floors here now. So it's kind of got, I've got bits from my mum's house, bits from my, my um, friend's house, you know, that we spend a lot of time in the summer holidays, dining table, garden, everything like that. So it's like the dream, it's so funny when God is, when your dream is coming to pass, because you get clues. From my, from my friend's house, even from my mum's house, I can see the type of, now I'm in this house, I can see the type of house God was actually, had actually prepared for me. He obviously prepared a house, but he prepared somewhere with laminated flooring, with a dining table, with a garden, things that my friend has. She's got a dining table and a garden, but not laminated floor, but and my mum as well, much of my, my old family home. Laminated floors, you know, big garden, dining table. Things like that, those are like key features. The laminated floors, the dining table and the garden. So it's like, you can see where the dream, you're, we're living the dream and it's, you know, it's, it's reality as well, you know? So um, yeah, so the last moment was praise. In that moment of praise, I was, I, was, I was able to receive, this is mine, the house of a garden, it's all mine. I got the solution, I carried it, I carried it out with faith. God linked me up with the right people to help me, you know, um, and I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm never going to mention any names, but, you know, certain relatives and people that helped me to the last bits and bobs, you know. Um, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I owe, I owe them a thank you. And I have said thank you as well, you know, for the last bit. You know, sometimes God can bring to finish off some things, you know, he'll use this person, use that person to assist. And that's what happened. So I'm so grateful. So those are just like some of the things that um, I done um, to aid, to assist with the manifestation. But the last thing was more like visualizing and praise. And um, I did have a quiet time. Yeah, you need the quiet time because the quiet time I was able to get the solution. So yeah, I think that's a, a rundown. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll write it down in the description box below so you can just see an order um like the steps i took what i done to manifest so it's through speaking through acting my faith um like packing and stuff um the mind movies which is visualization as well the feeling it acting as if going you know my friends house god led me my steps were ordered of god so he led me into a place that is similar like what he's already prepared for me um, so i was able to expand my vision and um quiet time and praise Hope that helps i will write them in the description box below and um please if you have any comments let me know and i will respond thanks for watching oh my god you know what i'm gonna do another video you're gonna see my other video i'm just gonna read out to you the scriptures i'll meant to do that in this video <laughs> read out the scriptures that god promises to me about concerning the move okay god bless you guys bye mm, love you <laughs> uh, she's ready to kiss as well mm -hmm. She's got her little, what's this? Oh, the little chick puppet. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.